Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Does your 3D printer sound like this when you turn it on? That's probably a bearing in the fan that has gone bad or even just dried up. So in this video I'll show you how you can lubricate that and how you can fix it, but also what you should think about when you do have to replace one. So it's probably one of the bearings in the fans that has gone bad or even it's just dry. We tend to try to have our printers run pretty hot and, and have a hot heat bed and even some enclosures to try to keep the temperature up. But we also focus a lot on drying the, the air around it so the, the filaments are dried and everything is in a, in a dry environment which makes material behave better. Those two factors are not really good for the hardware in your machine and probably the fans bearings don't really like high temperatures or really dry environments. So the easiest way to try to fix this or, or at least start to fix it is to lubricate your bearings and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So for lubrication you want to use something that is really easy flowing so for example sewing machine oil is, is commonly used. Uh, many people also use that in filament filters helping to lubricate the PTFE tubes going all the way to the extruder but also to oil the actual hotends especially if you have an all metal hotend you sometimes have issues especially down the line where your filament might get stuck because it's for example PLA might uh, get stuck in all metal hotend so a lot of people use oil to help lubricate that. So a good organic oil or sewing machine oil, something that is very easy flowing and is very light is good. You don't want to use pure fat, that, that's too, too much, especially for the fans. They spin at a high RPM, so if you can, try to find out which oil you need to use uh, from the fan manufacturer. But that's probably not going to work, not a lot of them have that kind of information. So I'm going to show you how to lubricate your fan and a few tips and tricks. And yeah, let's get going. So the first thing you want to do is to of course turn off your 3D printer and take out the power cord. Then you want to unmount wherever the fan is positioned. So for example here I have four screws for some reason. So I have two on the front and then two on the left side. When that is out you can have a look at the fan. You can see that I have a small hair in my so just pull that out and clean it or even vacuum it while, while you have it out. But basically what you want to do is to access the back side where you usually see this little thingy that is access to the bearing. Some fans actually don't have that or you can't see it. So what you have to do with a fan like this is to basically remove the sticker. They are usually hidden behind the stickers. If you don't have a fan that has access to that, that's a really weird fan. Usually they are positioned here back of the sticker. And then you take your oil and you take a small, very small amount and you spin the fan around a little bit to make sure that it penetrates well. And it should help. Sometimes you have to do this once or twice, but then you want to try it on. So compared to before, it sounds much, much better. Yeah, let's reassemble. If you didn't succeed, if you still have a very loud noise, even after a few seconds of running and uh, even a few minutes and a few dabs of oil, the bearings and the fan might just be a really bad one and you might not get a better result. And for that you might want to think about replacing the fan. To do that there's a few things you should really check out. First of all, you need to check what size is the fan, what kind of airflow is it designed for, but you also want to check out which voltage it is. Is it 24 volts? Is it 12 volts? You also need to see if there's some sort of controlling so for example print cooler fans, the, the fan that is actually cooling the material, you usually have some sort of controller to be able to ramp it down and up. So for example when you want to run 20 or 30 or 50 percent fan speed, that's the controller that controls that. So you need to have a compatible fan that can be controlled. So that's what you really want to check for. Some fans that are notoriously known to be really quiet like Noctua fans, uh, usually they might not come in 12 volt or only in 24 volt. So I have a guide down on my website, you can find the link uh, in down below or up here in some corner. But basically what you do is you take a buck converter and you reduce the voltage from 24 down to 12. That works well on fans, but you need to have some tech savvy to get that working. But I have a guide if you want to check that out. And with that said, yeah, uh, hopefully your fans run smoother and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. By the way, if you are Swedish or understand Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, whatever, um, me and Daniel Lundre, the creator of OpenRC and 3D Benchy, we have a Swedish podcast or video podcast. I don't know. We do a live stream each Tuesday 
Um, you can find the link down below if you want to check that out. It's a really chill talk about 3D stuff and our what we do around 3D. Thanks so much for watching. Next week is probably going to be a bit busy. I'm not sure I'm going to make a video. So subscribe so you get a notification when I do make one. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Check out the merch. Bye.